Hey uh, guys, um, I figured out how to use my uh, camera settings better. Um, the Mercury Vapor, as some of us have been discussing on my uh, videos, um, like uh, one guy mentioned that his light was white. Uh, um, I mentioned that I do see the white. You know, when when you test the bulbs and you are sitting right in front of them, or when you're standing where I'm standing from here and you look directly at the light, it's white. I'm not going to lie. I do agree with that. But um, in general, if you think about it and you look at it more, it's a little blue, actually. It's it's like a very high white blue. Um, and cameras on my videos, they always show these lights as green. Every picture that you see online, um, every picture you take, they're green. Um, but they don't show what they actually look like. They're not blue. Um and to be honest, the brand new Mercury Vapor bulbs are actually blue. They're not really like a, a, the green that the pictures are showing. So I managed to uh, mess around with my S22 Ultra. Um, apparently it has like a pro option for the uh, camera. And I was able to change the, uh, the white balance, um, basically the color temperature, um, to more to what the bulb actually looks like. So right now I adjusted the camera to 2300K. Um, this is the setting that it was pretty much at. It was like around there. Um, that's around 3,500K. So that's usually what it looks like on camera when I'm showing you guys. Maybe a little bit more green. You can see that's kind of what it looks like in pictures online. So right now we're at 4,000. Um, I think these bulbs are around 4,000K, if I'm not mistake mistaken. Ooh, listen to that. Shh. You hear the coyotes? Mm, they're getting pretty close to the house. I might have to get my gun out. So, um, but uh, yeah, I'm not gonna kill them. But uh, they better not come over here on my property because I got cats, a dog, my horse. So, and coyotes are not native here to Virginia. So, uh, anyway, so 3,900k. Now we're at 4,300k. Um, and I think that's what the bulbs are actually, uh, that's, that's, this is what it looks like on most of my videos. They're pretty green like that. Um, so let's go back down to 2300K. Um, let me adjust it a little bit. So now we're at 2400. So this is kind of what it, pretty much what it looks like to me in person. It's very, very, very close. So... Um, so when I say on my videos they look a little blue in person, they, they really do. Um, like up against the house, you see the blue? That's actually what it looks like to me in person. So um, maybe not that much blue. Let's try 2500K. Come on, phone. Yeah, there we go. So that's kind of what it looks like in person. But you see the light is blue, right? So, oops, actually messed up. Uh, stop touching it. There we go. So that's what it looks like in person. I'm going to zoom in. For some reason, my phone loses my voice when I zoom in, but here we go. So that's that's literally what it looks like in person when you look at a brand new mercury vapor fixture or brand new bulb. Um, so it has that greenish blue on the ground. The light is kind of a white blue, um, and that's exactly what it looks like. So, um, let me uh, get my shoes on. It is cold out here. Oh, God. I'm going to put my phone down. Um, it's going to be black for a second. Just bear with me for two seconds. Okay, so I'm going to walk up to the light. Now, the interesting thing is uh, these don't have reflectors on. That one and this one over here. Uh, those don't have reflectors. And I noticed with the reflector off, um, you can see the color of the, the true color of the bulb better. With reflectors on, they do look a little more green. Um, and especially an older reflector. So I wish you could see this. 
the camera might not be able to pick this up very well, but the older fixture, it's like 40 years old. The reflector is pretty, it's not yellow. Um, it's pretty, pretty creamy white. Um, and the fixture that's older is the one, uh, the fixture that's older, come on. The fixture that's older is the one in the front. That one right there. So the, um, that's exactly what it looks like in person. You see that blue? Exactly what it looks like. The one over here is the newer fixture. And this one is definitely more blue, the newer one, than the older one is. Because the creamy white um, lens changes it to more of a green color. Uh, you can't really see it on camera, but the lens definitely uh, changes the color of these lights. Um, so... I'm debating on asking my friend from the power company when he comes here to take off the lenses for these as well. Um, and the reason why is because, like I said, uh, when I take the lenses off of the other mercury vapor fixtures, the light increases by like 20 or 30 percent. Um, it's actually a huge difference. When I'm on the ladder, take off the lens, look at the side of the house, the house just gets like 50% brighter at least so and uh, I mean I know it's not 50% but it does get brighter It's very noticeable so I imagine when I take the lenses off of these you can actually tell a little bit You see how this is more blue and that's more green Yeah, you can tell just a little bit, but anyway, um, so yeah, this is what they look like uh, So now you can tell what I'm talking about when I say blue um, and I'm not like artificially making it blue like this. This is literally what it looks like to me in person. That's what my girlfriend said when she came home. She was like, oh, I like the blue light. So, <laughs> Mercury Vapor is definitely not green. Um, it has greens in it, but it's mostly a blue, like a white blue light. So this is the one I installed last night. Uh, I think the ISO is a little high. Let me turn the ISO down just a tad. There we go. The ISO was just way too high. So, um, that's what it looks like in person. Um, it's a little more white than that, but I can't uh, change the color anymore. So this is what the camera shows it normally. You know, when I'm, like, recording videos, the camera kind of shows it like that normally. You guys remember that color, right? So, and this is kind of what it looks like more in person, so it looks a little bit more like that. Definitely blue, with some hints of green in there. And if you look straight at the light, it's, like, white. So that's where the white-blue comes from, so. Anyway, um... Don't think I've seen a video where somebody has adjusted the color to show you what it actually looks like. Now let me adjust the ISO back. I think this is like the first time we've seen this. See, it's funny, you can actually see the green here. You know, it is green, um, but the light is blue. So, and then there's the back of the house. You kind of see that bluish green color. Ah, keeps jumping around. There we go. So, I hope that helps people who haven't really seen Mercury Vapor. Um, you know, I hope that helps people who haven't actually really, like, seen it in person, per se, who don't actually have the fixtures. Um, uh, I know I was talking to a guy just now who said he has three bulbs, I think. Um, two or three bulbs, but he doesn't have the ballast for it yet. Um, and he saw one of his bulbs uh, tested, I guess, from the guy that he bought it from. Uh, but uh, you don't actually have it yourself yet, so hopefully you do get a fixture um, and uh, have some fun, you know, messing with these lights. But uh, let me know if this is kind of what you saw in person. So, um, God, I need to adjust the ISO. Every time I get close, the ISO is just too high. So, but yeah, that's exactly what it looks like. So, and again, um, 
I can see the bulb from here with my own eyes. The camera just picks up like a halo, but uh, let me uh, change the ISO down here and zoom in one more time so we can get a look at that bulb. Come on, stupid phone. Pretty, and look at that, that's awesome. So I don't think I'm gonna put a lens on this. And like I said, I think I might ask my friend from the power company to uh, take the lenses off the other ones. But the problem is if he does that, um, I won't be able to put them back on unless I get him back over here again. And I don't wanna bother him with that you know, all the time. So I'll probably just leave them on um, and just mess with the ones that I can actually physically get to. So um, now, uh, to the guy who was mentioning to move the light over to these trees over here, um, the reason why, see, I originally wanted to put it on that tree. That tree is like perfect, almost. Um, I would have rather put it on the tree that was right next to this pole, but unfortunately, I had cut that tree a while ago, and um, uh, um, it would have just been perfect right there because you see I have a fence uh, gate right here, a small eight-foot gate, um, and... Uh, it's big enough for a car, an SUV, and um, eventually the fence is going to run from this corner all around here, and it's going to connect to the old chain link that used to be there. I sold the chain link, and I'm going to do a regular wooden fence like this. So, um, so yeah, uh, I would have preferred the light being more over here because it is darker right here, and of course, you know, the gate is right there. So, but it's just, unfortunately, I had to put it on the oak tree because here I'll show you. What you don't see in my previous video is the angle because I wasn't walking right here. So this is the reason why I didn't put it on that tree was because if I put it on this tree right here or one of these three trees, the light is going to be right here and you have this section of woods with the oak that the light is just going to go in there and it's going to be blocked from showing over here. Does that make sense? Let me walk under here. <laughs> So you see what I'm talking about? So if I put it on that tree, if I put it on this tree right here, all the light is gonna go over there on that side. It's gonna be blocked, especially in the summertime when the leaves grow back and everything. So the only option was to put it on the oak and then have my friend from the power company with his truck uh, cut these limbs away, you know, these limbs and stuff like that. So, um, and then of course, you know, now that it's there, all of this is lit up. Um, and it lights up over here and everything, so ISO is still too low. There we go. So that's kind of what it looks like. So, um, yeah, so now you can see right here, this is the best spot to put it in. I definitely can't put it on these trees because, again, if I do, it's going to be half the lights going to be blocked by the woods. So the only thing that's going to be lit up is in here and in here, and you know, that's not the greatest thing. Now, I do have this tree right here. You see the stump? That's the tree that I cut. And you see how close it is to the fence? Damn, that sucks. That would have been a perfect spot for the tree in that gate. Now, I do have this tree. This one right here. Um, this one is about, uh, let's say, 25 feet, 20 feet away from the gate. Um, I could put it right there. And it would definitely light up this area better and it won't be so close to that uh high pressure sodium over there but again if i put it right here it's going to be lighting up the woods right here you, you see what i'm saying i'm still going to be stuck with that conundrum so the only thing i can do is put it on that oak tree or buy a pole um and uh, use my pole digger and i guess dig down three feet if i can and concrete the uh, metal pole in there and then put it on a metal pole right here. So, but that's money. Um, and I don't really want to spend the money on a pole. I don't even know how much a galvanized steel pole will cost. So, um, but that's the only other, uh, that's the only other option I can see doing. So now what I did think about doing was, um, telling the power company to turn their hundred watt HPS off. Uh, they charge me now $11. They increased it. It was 10. Now it's $11 for the HPS. Um, which I find hilarious because um, 100 watt HPS that's on 12 hours a day 
times 31 days times 0.128 cents an hour kilowatt hour is like 4.4.8 dollars a month and they're making a six dollar profit off of me doing that so you know if it wasn't so strategically placed in that poll you know um it's a, it's a great spot, but to be honest, I'm thinking of telling them to go fuck themselves, turn that light off, and that $11 that I'm spending is how much a mercury vapor light uses. It's actually about $9.8 a month for this. Um, so tell them to go fuck themselves and put a third mercury vapor over here. That's what I was thinking of doing, maybe on that big tree right there or on the corner of the fence over here. So then I have a, a row of three mercury vapors. Now, the only thing that sucks if I do that is, of course, um, this area is gonna be kind of dark. Um, so the HPS is kind of in a really great spot, so I can't do that. So, But I really hate being screwed, man. That sucks. $11 a month for a light that uses like $4 in electricity, so. Anyway, 16-minute uh, video. Um, sorry for making such a long video, but this is pretty much exactly what mercury vapor looks like. It's got that blue, more blue than green. So uh, thanks for watching. Let me know what you guys think. Um, for now on, I'm going to be adjusting my uh, color balance to um, show you what mercury vapor looks more like um, and no more green lights. Unless you want to see the green. I mean, I'll go right back to it. So we're like, let's see, 4,000. So that's roughly usually where it's at so now we're back at the green so anyway have a great night guys